So in this section, you learned how to implement authentication and authorization using ASP.NET Identity. More specifically, you learned how to restrict access to certain endpoints using the authorize attribute. You learned how to populate your database with users and roles. You learned how to extend ASP.NET Identity users and add profile data. And finally, you learned about OAuth and how to implement social logins in your applications. In the next section, we're going to look at performance optimization. So I will see you in the next section.